This is Alvin Jones for Planted Vehicle. Today we're in Nashville, Tennessee, the headquarters of Nissan America. We're going to take a look at Nissan's 2010 sedans, the Versa, the Sentra, the Altima, and the Maxima. Whether it's fuel economy reasons, whether they re they're realizing that do you really need a 6,000 pound vehicle to kind of commute back and forth to work in every day by yourself? But again, the uh, Americans are always going to have things that they're going to want to tow. We have lots of toys that we like to carry around with us, and we have large families with lots of stuff. So certainly trucks, full-size vehicles, minivans, they're not going away, but we do see a shift towards sedans, hatchbacks happening right now. In 2010, we're carrying over a strategy we first started in 2009, which is to have the lowest price point in the entire Nissan lineup, $9,990 as a starting at price for Versa. Again, we're exploring because we, we know that from a consumer standpoint, economic times are tough. We want to have a new car at that price point. But again, from a manufacturing standpoint, we have to learn from a feature standpoint, from what consumers want, what they're willing to give up, trade off for that low price. So that's what you see in Versa, our attempt to understand what people want a new car but at that price point. Okay. Versa has a very nice diverse lineup. We start with you know the sedan, we also have a hatchback version. Actually we sell more hatchbacks than we do sedans in Versa. And as you step up through the line uh, you start seeing things like intelligent key. So you, you don't have to worry about plug turning your keys and carrying all those keys around in your pocket. You have we we have Bluetooth available. And for the first time, we're introducing a, a, a really a low-cost navigation system that's integrated in the car at a $400 price point. Okay. Well, what we're looking at is, from competitively, of course, people have a lot of personal navigation devices. Those portable things, the suction, suction cups you put on your windshield, the cords hanging all around. They're, they're good, but they're not very accurate, and it's kind of a clunky kind of ap application in the car. So with an integrated system at $400, we're matching we're matching the price point with a personal navigation device, but an integrated system in your vehicle with much improved accuracy. Okay.